we were driving okay. down the street uh -huh. and he braked for what I understand was a crosswalk situation. Okay. I didn't see that. We rear ended each other. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Where are you coming from? Just coming from 706. What's 706? 706 is across from Earth Fair. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like the area code. <laughs> well, that's. I guess that, yeah. Is known okay, so what is 706? So, yeah. 706 is a local restaurant. Okay. And I used to work there, and so I was having lunch. There. Okay, gotcha. All right, so how much you had to drink today? <laughs> what? I think you had two cocktails. Okay, all right. Do you think that you're safe to drive? I would like, I don't I think I've called AAA. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna get my car out of here. Okay. I'm let's not. um let's walk over the sidewalk just so we're out of the road, okay? Hey, y'all good? Yes. What happened? Fender bender. Huh? Fender bender. Yeah, I see that. How'd it happen? He was driving. I, mean, I, was, I, I was stopping for people on the crosswalk. Uh huh. I didn't see him breaking. Okay. Is there a reason you didn't see him breaking? No? Are you on your phone or something? Are you not paying attention? What? You just didn't see him breaking? I didn't see him breaking. Okay. You have your driver's license and insurance? Oh, yes. This is, here is our exchange of insurance information. And I'll grab you my license. Okay. What is this? That's his handwritten in insurance. This is his? Yes. Okay. We've exchanged information. This is not insurance information. This is this, this is, is your not. tag registration. Five four to five nine. Are you ten six? Three five four to five nine. Are you available? Okay, this is your receipt of payment for the tag. This again is not insurance. Do you have an insurance card or anything? I have my license. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'm sorry. You're good. Um, do you have a phone number? Yes. I need five nine if he's available. All right, I'll be right back with you. Hold on. Do you know who your insurance company is through? State Farm. State Farm. You live in Athens? Yes, I've been here for nine years. Okay. Where are you coming from? 706. You're coming from 706? Well, 706, the, it's a bar location. Okay. Have you been drinking? No, it's a restaurant. I used to work there. Okay. Have you been drinking at all today? No? Okay. How long were you at 706? I went to 706 at 2 p.m. Okay. Do you know what time it is now? I would say it is 7 to 8 p.m. Okay. Closer to 6. Alright. How are you? I'm doing okay. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I just um, stopped for people in the in the crosswalk behind us, and, mm -hmm. and I guess she just didn't see me then. Yeah. Claire, I think it's going to be signal too. Yeah. Do you have your driver's license? Yes. 
you notice anything weird about her? I think she's a little shook, shook up a bit. Okay. The shock, are you guessing? That's a good phone number for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I asked, I asked her to show me information, but she just showed me her, um... Registration? Registration. Yeah, okay. Um, do you have insurance? Yeah, I can bring it up on my... Um, Are you hurt or anything? I'm okay. I'm okay. a little in shock, too. <laughs> but she you, hit, you, she hit you pretty hard. This, is, this car is a tank, this truck. You have State Farm as well? Yeah, I do. Is that the old actual number there? It says policy number, oh, yeah. auto policy. Do you want me to read that to you? Yeah, sure. Eleven. Okay. All right, here's your ID. I'll Thank be you. right back with you. Is your truck drivable? Yeah. You think so? I think so. <clears throat> okay. Where did the accident happen at? It happened, I mean, I was, I was just stopping right at the at the crosswalk here. So okay, you, you at this, can, you, so you right can, before the you crosswalk? See, you can see the damage. In the yeah, the cool. I threw it in the grass. You what? I threw the, some of the hardship damage into the grass. Okay. You want to? I'm not worried about anything, but she—I think she's signal one. We were driving okay. down the street, uh -huh. and he braked for what I understand was a crosswalk situation. Okay. I didn't see that. We we were at Okay, gotcha. All right. Where are you coming from? Just coming from 706. What's 706? 706 is across from Earth Fair. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like the area code. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah, I guess that, yeah. Is known okay, so what is 706? So, yeah. 706 is a local restaurant. Okay. And I used to work there, and so I was having lunch. Okay, gotcha. All right. So, how much you had to drink today? <laughs> what? Two okay. All right. Do you think that you're safe to drive? I would like. I don't think I've called AAA. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna get my car out of here. Okay. I'm let's not. um. Let's walk over the sidewalk just so we're out of the road. Okay. So we'll stand right up over here. Um, okay. So are you okay to do some field sobriety exercises for me? Because I'll be honest, I smell that odor of alcohol. Sorry, an alcoholic beverage coming from your breath. I know you've been drinking. Are you okay to do some field sobriety exercises? I am. Would okay. you rather me just like what's up? Stay on the road, like if uh, so. Right now, I just got to conduct my investigation. It's just part of the accident and whatnot. So are you okay to do those field sobriety exercises? Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Okay, I'll just have you face. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have you face this way, just so we're not uh, looking at the flashing lights or anything like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you don't wear contacts or glasses. You said you have. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So your vision should be okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna have you do is this red stylus right here. I'm gonna illuminate it like this. I'm just gonna have you follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head. <laughs> your finger in your hand? Yeah, so just okay. stare at that red light right there, okay? So I'm going to start up here, and I just need you to follow with your eyes. Your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay?
less stringent. Sorry? It's less red. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's probably just because of the daylight. Uh, so just either way, even if it's not red, just follow the tip right there, okay? okay just sorry. like tip my finger with it. You're all right. Same thing, just up and down, okay? Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead to the next one, okay? Um, so what I'm going to have you do is just keep facing that way for me. You can place your feet together, arms down to your side, just like this. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to imagine an imaginary line in front of you on the ground. It's a straight line, okay? Yeah, so essentially, but hold on just a second before we start, okay? So don't start until I tell you to. Uh, so what I'm going to have you do is just pay attention to my directions real closely, and we're going to go from there, okay? So right now, you're going to picture that line in front of you, and you can place your left foot on that line. Go ahead and do that now. All right. So go ahead. And... A natural outturn. Okay, that's okay. Let's go back to the, the beginning. So like I said, don't start until I tell you to. I'm just going to put you in what's called the instructional stance, okay? So when I read you the instructions, you stay the way I tell you to, okay? So from right now, just feet together, hands down to your side. Picture that imaginary line in front of you. Place your left foot, just your left foot on that line. You can go ahead and do that now. All right, from right there, you're going to place your right foot heel to toe in front of your left foot and just hold right there for me, okay? All right. Would you feel more comfortable with those shoes off or you like those on? They're platform crocs. Okay, so yeah, it's up to you if you want to, uh, you okay to wear those? Yeah, it's not super beneficial. You, you can take them off if you'd like to. Uh, that's completely up to you. I can also have you walk on the sidewalk so it's a little less hurtful to your feet. It's just up to you. What would you like to do? I don't see any broken blocks. Right, yeah, I don't see any broken glass either. We can do it on the sidewalk, that way you can get a little bit better review at it if Not you'd like. Why I'm scared. Okay, of what? Just scared. Okay. I'm scared right now. Okay, I got you, Will. Just yeah, I, you know, I understand the anxiety. It's really high. I get you. Um, Is there anything I can do to accommodate that? Not necessarily. Okay. I have a therapist. Okay, I got you. Okay, so do you feel comfy with the shoes on, or would you rather take them off? I don't know if it would even feel better with shoes on. Okay, we can do it like this then. Okay. okay. So, so, yeah, so let's start back there. Feet together, arms down to your side. Place your left foot on that line. Go ahead and do that now. Now place your right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe, and just keep it just like that for me, okay? So from right there, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps when I tell you to begin along that line, just like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth until you reach nine, and then you're going to pivot. Sorry, you're not going to pivot. You're going to take a small series of steps off of that lead foot. So leave the lead foot planted and just a small series of steps. And then you're going to return with nine heel-to-toe steps back. One, two, three, so on and so forth until you reach nine. I just did three to show you, okay? okay. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, I do. Okay, so don't stop after you've started. Make sure you don't start until I tell you to. Keep your arms down to your side. Count out loud for me and look down at your toe, okay? You understand all the instructions? Yes, I do. 
All right, go ahead and begin for me. Make sure the steps are heel to toe. Thank you very much. All right, so for the next one, it's called a one-leg stand. What I'm going to have you do is place your feet together, arms down to your side. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take a foot of your choice, either left or right, and you're going to lift it six inches up off the ground, just like this. And you're going to point your toe outwards when I tell you to begin. So right now, just listen to me, okay? okay. So just point it outwards, and you're going to count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop, okay? So from right there, you understand the instructions? Yes. Okay. Six, to six, 1,000? No, you just keep going until I tell you to stop. Oh. But you're going to lift your foot six inches off the ground and point your toe outwards like okay. this, okay? Perfect. Make sure your arms stay down to your side during the exercise. Keep them like against you if you can. Don't be hopping You're around. Balancing. No, not with your arms. All right. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, I do. Okay, give me just a second before we begin, okay? Are right, you ready to begin? Okay, go ahead and begin. Make sure you keep your arms down to your side for me, okay? You put your arms against you. Put your toe down. Huh? I put my toe down. Okay. Does let's, that not count? Yeah, so let's try that again, okay? okay? I'm so sorry. That's all right. So put your feet together, arms down to your side. And remember, you're going to lift one foot off the ground, six inches up. Point your toe outwards, and you're just going to count one, one thousand, two, one thousand. 1,000, so on and so forth. So hang on just a sec. Send the instructions? Yes. Okay, go ahead and begin. One, one All right, you can put your foot down. All right, thank you. Okay, for the next one, I'm just going to have you follow this with your eyes and your eyes only again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a little circle around your face, and then I'm going to come in towards the bridge of your nose. I'm not going to touch your nose, though, okay? Okay, so uh, it's just... Yeah, so you're just going to follow that I'm red like line. I'm like a laser cat. Essentially, yeah, for just fo follow the laser, yeah. All right, so from right up here, you're just going to follow that tip. Thank you. All right. Next one's super easy. All I need you to do, stand with your feet together, arms down to your side, tilt your head back, and close your eyes for me, okay? What I'm going to have you do is you're, whenever you tell me to begin, you're just going to estimate the passing of 30 seconds. So whenever 30 seconds is up, you just tilt your head forward, you open your eyes, and you see a stop. Okay? okay. So, yeah, you're just going to tilt your head back, close your eyes, and then estimate 30 seconds. Once 30 seconds is up, just tell me to stop, okay? So go ahead and tilt your head back and close your eyes for me, and then whenever you say go, we'll start. Go.
Good? Okay. I feel like it was 10 seconds past the reset now. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um, so from right here, just go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me, okay? Put your palms against each other. Right now, you are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? Two five nine Central ten ninety five Signal one. I'm just gonna double lock these so they don't get any tighter on you, okay? And label it Signal one. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and walk back over here, okay? Uh, we're just gonna walk towards the car in the back over there. Can you search the car at all? Okay, yeah. Just, just making sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, I told him he could talk to you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's walk over here. Hey, this is your boyfriend, right? All right? He just wants to talk to you for a minute. If you want to just hang out towards the front of the car, I just don't want you to get hit or anything, okay? before okay then it'll be a couple hours okay. and should be out today okay so uh, i'll come i'll come pick you up i don't have to worry about that um if i'm not there call call my phone and i'll come pick you up are you which one are you guys taking the clark county jail clark county, that's the one off 3015 like lexington yep, yep. exactly you know exactly where that's at uh, you want him to take any of your stuff yep i'm gonna take the purse uh do you have to relinquish it to the yeah you can take it to the jail with you no i don't think Yeah, I appreciate it. read you something really quick and he's going to read you something else but um obviously you're in handcuffs 
So you're, I'm gonna. My Miranda rights. Okay. Back up so everything's not bad. Right. And you want him to have it, yes? You want him you want your wallet to go with him too? Yeah. Okay. Oh. My... Shoot. Do I have what? Do you have my license? Yeah, I got yes. you. Okay. Um, then okay. I don't need any clothes. Okay. Um Ariana. All right, I'm just going to read this to you, okay? okay. Ariana, the state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of the state upon your submission to state-administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state will be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered into evidence against you at trial. If you submit to testing and the results indicate an alcohol concentration of 0.08 grams or more, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the requested state test, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Will you submit to the state administered chemical test of your breath? No. Okay. I'm going to read it one more time for you, okay? The state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of the state upon your submission to state-administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state will be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered in evidence against you at trial. If you submit to testing and the results indicate an alcohol concentration of 0.08 grams or more, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the requested state test, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood <laughs> or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Will you submit to the state administered chemical test of your blood? If I demand a lawyer, will that affect my health care? In this instance, no. This is just something I read to you and it's your choice. Okay, Miranda right. Yeah, this is, we're this is separate. Yeah, this is separate, yeah. I'm going to get to the Miranda rights in just a second, or okay. she is, uh, but this is in regards to your license and the, the DUI charge. So this doesn't have anything to do with anything else. Okay. So is that a yes or a no to the blood? So is that a yes or a no? You want me to read it one more time for you so you're clear on everything? Ariana. I'm very stressed out. Okay. I'm trying to do everything right now. I'm I really you. starting. But no, you don't have to apologize to me. That's all right. I understand. I'm not. I'm not trying to create any harm. No, I understand. I will. I will spend. Is that what I need to say to get past Wait, this level? It's it's completely up to you. It's your choice. Let me. I'll read it a little bit slower just so you understand the the circumstances around it all, okay? Alright, so let me read it one more time for you, and we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? So, the state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of the state upon your submission to state-administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state will be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered into evidence against you at trial. If you submit to testing, the results indicate an alcohol concentration of 0.08 grams or more. Your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of the state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the requested state test, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Will you submit to the state administered chemical test of your breath? I will submit. Okay. Is there any way I can use the restroom sometime relatively soon? Yeah, so what we'll do is from here, uh, we'll go ahead and get up to uh, 
we go to the jail and that's where the breathalyzer test is done and from there they'll let you use the bathroom before we even do the breathalyzer probably i can't promise that part but either way the second we're done with everything you'll be able to use the bathroom there so it won't be long um go ahead with what you're going to if you need you to you want me to uh Miranda. yeah sure all right I'm so I know this is a lot. This is your first time, right? So you, I'm just going to read you and we can talk some, okay? Because you're in handcuffs, I need to read this to you. I um, understand. And then you're, you decide whether or not you want to talk to me, okay? Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Even if you don't want a lawyer now and agree to talk with us, you can any time change your mind, ask for a lawyer, and stop talking to us. Do you understand these rights? Do you wish to speak to me? Yes? Okay. So, you mentioned something about counseling and therapy and stuff like that. Have you, you, went, have, have you been recently? Okay. So you're going through some hard stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Honestly, listen, you're, you're very lucky that you didn't hurt anybody today. Um, and that's, that's good. But, I pulled over immediately. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah. All right, you're, I know you said you were on some medications too. Have you taken those medications today? Um, are you allowed to combine those medications with things like marijuana and stuff like that? Yes. You marijuana, can. yes. Okay. Have you smoked weed today? Yes. You have? Okay. I, I usually so I really only started smoking weed. Okay. Combined with. Is it medically? Like, I know that the laws with marijuana are kind of weird. Yeah, I, but so, is it, so is I, it something you have a prescription for is what I'm asking? I do not have a prescription. Okay. Part of what I smoke is Delta 8 now. Delta 8, okay. So I do intake like what is legal. In okay. And you've taken all the meds that you're supposed to take today in accordance to how you're supposed to take them. I actually have not taken my Okay. But it's been kind of a, I recently left my job. Yeah. Partially because. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that something you want to take to jail with you so they can administer it for you at the jail? What do you mean? You're no, I've been with the same psychiatrist for nine years. I'm, I'm saying, not. would you like to take your medicine with you to see if they'll let you take it at the jail? Um, since you haven't taken it today. I don't necessarily think it'll be done. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's up to you. I um, appreciate that. Yeah, sure thing. I want you to have what you need. I know I this know. is a scary situation for you. It's the first time. Okay. Um, so, do you have any questions? No? Uh, I'm going to tuck this in your pocket if that's okay with you. Just yeah. so we don't lose yeah. it. Okay? And this is her phone and his phone number. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Keep going to therapy. It helps. No, I've been, she's a great therapist. Yeah. I've, I've been, been with I've, her for five years. I've been through a lot myself, and I've been in and out of therapy. It does help. Okay? It does. And I know you're going through a lot. And this is not helping. You're lucky you didn't hurt anybody today. Yeah. 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 Bad way. For sure. Uh, glad we're at low speeds. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay, so what, what do you smoke to reduce your anxiety? Is it, is it regular Sorry, marijuana? Or is it You're good. Traditionally, I smoke like loose, loose leaf. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you have today? Maybe smoke so yeah. You want me to get your hair out of your face? I don't want to touch you, you without can. appropriate. It's okay. You're kind of really about to start also. eating it if you want. Semi useful. Um, yeah. Nothing I had today was that. Sorry, what is it? Nothing I had today was that. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to read this one more time for you. So the state of Georgia has conditioned your privilege to drive upon the highways of the state. Upon your submission, the state administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. 
If you refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of this state will be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered into evidence against you at trial. If you submit to testing and the results indicate an alcohol concentration of 0.08 grams or more, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of this state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the requested state test, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood, urine, or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Will you submit to the state administered chemical test of your blood? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of, uh, out of here so that way we can kind of speed this up just a little bit, okay? Okay. What, when's the last time you smoked marijuana today? It's currently almost... 6.15, 6 6.30? 6.10. Yeah, okay. I probably smoked at around 4 p.m. Okay, all right. Um, so we're going to go back to that car over there. Let's walk on the sidewalk, though, so give us just a second, and we will go over there. Just don't want to walk in front of cars at all. Walk this way. Huh? Just gonna walk back to that car over there, okay? Five nine to five oh on east. You can 22 if you aren't already there. Uh, signal 41 as well, so I'm just going to go to Piedmont. All right, come right over here. Right. Just going to have you take a seat right there. And I've got uh, his phone number and your phone, and I'm just going to keep those up in the front seat with me, and when we get there, I'll give that to you, okay? Five nine three five four. Do you have a kit on you? A blood kit? Do you have a blood box in your vehicle? Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, five nine and twenty four. If you've got one, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna be seventy six Piedmont with one female central. Five nine twenty four. Are you gonna twenty five with me at Piedmont? You okay? All right.
five nine to twenty two twenty four. Yes, sir. Are you going to 25 at Piedmont? Ten four. Thank you. Okay. Um, so just to explain to you everything that's going on and whatnot. Uh, so for the blood test, we're going to run up to the hospital real quick, and they're just going to do it there. Um, and then also, I got to see if uh, we can get a doctor to check on you real quick, just because you've been involved in an accident. Are you hurting anywhere or anything like that? I gotcha. Five nine twenty four. I'm gonna go ahead and check in real quick and we'll just be in the front lobby right there. Five nine central twenty three Piedmont. I'll be off the radio. Two five nine central. You can also relabel this signal one. out for me. Let's go ahead and walk in there. Hello. Hey, here for a blood alcohol and to get seen by a doctor. Uh, for medical clearance. Okay, my bad. Sorry. Sure. Put this right here. here okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to take her back there if you don't mind. Can I grab a mask for the two of us? Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. Alright. Give me just a second. Hello. Hey, just over here. Um, here for blood alcohol. She's also gonna get a uh, medical clearance. I got them. I just my hands okay. are full. Um, okay, wait a minute. Let me. What's the last name? Sorry, the, uh, what's the last name? Griffin. I gotta put this on. You sorry? Blood alcohol and what else? Um, she needs medical clearance, so she'll have to be seen by a physician. And what's going on with what kind of medical care? Uh, she's been involved in a vehicle accident. Sorry. You can come right here, okay? Okay, thank you. I just got iron on the system. She should show up. Thank you much. Right here. Will you turn me on one? And then here, if you step in here, I'll take those off so you can use the restroom, okay? A little bit forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm we'll take the hand goes off. Okay. 
care if she runs to the restroom real quick. Sorry, she's been holding. Oh, there's another home that's only uh, urine. Here, let me give you a cup. Uh, okay, yeah. If you're needing medical corner, I don't know about that. Trust me, yeah, I gotta, okay. I'll use it. If I got it, I'll use it. Just feed that cup for me. Thank you. Yep. All right. Great. Right. Right. Sorry, I can get y'all her info yeah, if you need it. Yeah, what's her person last night? Let's see. Let me pull it up. I can leave all of her emails. Oh, All right. Okay. First name is Ariana. A R I A N N A. Last name is. It is. So medical clearance, and then you need a blood draw. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Um, let me know. I can grab like 15 from. Oh yeah. Cool. Awesome. They're in my car, so if you want 25 later, I can. I need all 15 of them. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So. Tell me what happened. Uh, she's involved in a motor vehicle collision. It was a rear end collision. Uh, no passenger compartment intrusion. Uh, pretty heavy front end damage. Uh, no visible injuries on her. Didn't request EMS. Uh, believe she was wearing a seatbelt and it was on South Millage, so speeds were probably 35. Sorry, just making sure I don't have somebody run away from me. Did she report any drugs or alcohol? Yeah, marijuana and alcohol. Um, she's pretty intoxicated. Marijuana was last used at him. And alcohol, pretty close after that. So, you're going to go all the way to back, and about three-fourths now across that back, I'm going to say 27. Okay. I'm trying to get it over. There it goes. Need anything else specific? Oh. Thank you. I think you guys usually just sign your badge numbers. Okay. Okay. Let me know when it's ready. He's not for me, just so you know. 
I said the P is not for me, just so you know. Yeah, I'll just just let you know, because I mean that's just like the clearest P I've ever seen in my life. I got gotcha. you. You don't have to keep it on. Oh, I've been out. All right. You don't have to keep it on. Go on that way. She's in a motorcycle accident. Okay. So medical clearance for the jail? Yes, ma'am. Oh! That makes more sense. Yes, ma'am. Medical clearance for the jail. Ah, see. Let's see what's wrong. Hello. So you are being seen here today? Miss Abram. Okay. What are you hurting or what's going on? Thank 
Thank you. You are welcome. So the shooter arrested DUI. Sorry. What's her charge? DUI. DUI. Yeah. Okay. Uh, marijuana and alcohol. So. Okay. Thank and you. there was an accident. Yeah. Uh, it yeah, is two vehicle accident on South Millage, speed about 35, prior wearing seatbelt, no passenger compartment intrusion, but pretty good for undamage. damage. Airbag deployment? No. Did your airbag deploy? No. No, okay. Surprisingly, I, I don't know how. There's a pretty good front end collision, there's a lot of damage, but no airbags. Thank you. You don't need to leave this crack. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we have to ask the same questions on everybody that comes into the ER. Any thoughts on harming yourself? During the stress right now. I can understand. But any thoughts on harming yourself? No. Okay. Have I you ever had? This. I have had thoughts of harming myself. Okay. When was the last time you had thoughts about harming yourself? Probably two years ago. Okay. Have you ever had any suicide attempts? Yes. Okay. How long ago was that? Seven years ago. You're right. And what did you do at that time? I was seeing both a therapist and psychiatrist, so honestly, nothing much. Okay, so I mean, you never had like a drug overdose, tried to shoot yourself, anything like that, right? Um, any illegal drugs besides marijuana? No. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. Just socially, or? You're a bartender. You're a bartender. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Okay. No vaping or any of that, right? Are you bleeding anywhere? No. Okay. I'll get them out here first and then just make sure she knows he's in the I usually do this on the computer. Not working out very well. Uh, let me get this in. Okay. Hello. Hello, Dr. Moore. Yeah. What happened to you today? I understand you were in a car accident. Okay, were, were you... Where, was the fender bender? Where were you in the car? I was in the driver's seat. You were in the driver's seat? seat. with the passenger seat. Okay, and where did your car get hit? It was on the front right end side. So the front or passenger? Left, left So on your side of the car? Yes, the driver's side. And how much damage was done to your vehicle? Uh, the, the bumper, like the hood of the car is up, but okay. it wasn't, there was basically not much collision visibility on the other vehicle, okay, so it's mainly gotcha. on mine, so the hood just Okay, were you wearing out. a seatbelt? Yes, I and was. did the airbag go off no. your car? Okay. No, it did not. And do you feel like, are you injured anywhere? No, I'm kind of sore, very stressed out, very okay. anxious about the whole thing, okay. but beyond that, I don't feel as though I have any physical okay. injuries. And are you on any kind of medications every yes, day? Yes, I am. And did you feel like you got any scrapes from the seatbelt? No, I'm just very stressed just out. Just very stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Deep breaths for me. Have you been drinking at all today? Some. Some? Okay.
I'm going to just have you lie back so I can examine your stomach, okay? Okay. And you're not hurting in your hips or in your legs? No. No. How about me there? So look at your side to make sure we don't see any scratch in the seat belt. No, your belly's not hurting? No, seemingly there was no harm from the cushion. Okay. It's very, very right. anxious. Okay, very okay. Just sit down. Okay. Now, I don't think you sustained any serious injuries from the accident. Um, okay. So I think from a medical perspective, you look like everything's okay. So I'm sorry this happened to you, okay? So I think she's medically cleared whatever needs to happen next, okay? Thank you, sir. I appreciate okay. it. feeling better, okay? Do, do you have a regular doctor you can follow up with, yes, like I a primary do. doctor? Yes, I okay. go to the Shepherd's Center. Okay. All right. Do that. Okay. You okay? You just breathe. I know it's a lot right now, but it's a bump in the road. I'm yep. really scared. I know. Well, the, the good news is, since you haven't been arrested for this before, it's a pretty quick process. Um, so we'll just go up there, we'll get you booked in, and then you'll be booked out. And that'll be that. You will have a court date to go to. Uh, we'll tell you. I don't have a problem with court date. No, I, I know. I, I just we we make mistakes. Um, just the best thing is that everybody's alive. You didn't hurt anybody or yourself, and that's. Um, I'm just explaining everything to you so you're caught up to speed and you're not left in the dark. Because I think that's I think that's fair to you that you understand what's going on. I appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. So your court date will be May 17th at okay. 9 in the morning, and that'll be on the copy of the citations, okay? okay. No worries, you guys are fine. What's that? I don't need that, baby. I need blood. Heard. Thank you. you. I did the last saw bags. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Ma'am. Oh, I have what you needed. You were coming for what you needed. Hello, my name's Michelle. Registration. Ooh. I said I thought I had what you needed. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. What you Um, do you have her license? I do not. Can I have your first and last name? She has an ID have? card in her pocket. You if you your need license, that. Baby? I'm see your in ID your, card. Uh, it's in your left pants pocket. Can you tell me your first and last name, sweetie? When's your birthday? I've been here before. It's been a long time. Okay. It's been, I think, at least four years. But I always ask if I do have Is your address the same? It is the same. Okay. So that is the address. Do you have a primary care doctor? Not really. Okay. If that's allowed, I have a primary care physician at the, that's my psychiatrist. Okay. 
they're at... Good. Last time I did this, they got mad at me. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, you want to just yeah, poke it? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Almost like I, I did not. <laughs> no, no, that didn't go off of you. You're like, all good. Yeah, scary. <laughs> you just poke it. Sunshine, do you know what you're doing? It's peaches. Peaches in the water. Did, did you get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. right, cool. And for emergency contact, I have Miss Patricia. Yes. And you still have the blue cross? Yes, it's got blood, right? Same entrance. Yes. Um, is she on your custody? Yeah, the Charlotte. Okay, so what's the difference here? Okay, can you call, uh, I'm making it with blood alcohol. Can you call 493936? Thank you, bye. Okay, I guess it'll be the same. Um, the second Were you in any kind of accident? I was in a fender bender. Okay. I was in, uh, I collided with someone from behind. Okay. I experienced much more damage to my car. No airbags were deployed. Okay. So I have no visible injuries according to all health inspections. I am fine other than being shaken up. Okay. Well, that's as of here. No, I was trying to figure out like how did you get to that car? Oh, um right here, where yes, it's S related. Mm -hmm. But yes, I guess I'll turn playing it up. Oh, okay, and okay, okay. Um, and then we're gonna put yes, and then if it's NBC, you put NBC if it's worth it's coming, but WC. Okay. So the NBC and this is today's day. See, you're not, you're not having pain anywhere, sweetie? No, You don't recognize me? Yeah. You don't remember my full name and social security number and everything? I recognize your face, but. Nah, I get you. I'm just playing. I can see of it. Oh, yeah, all right.
on this form, mm -hmm. all I have to do is um, print a name, put the date and time. Okay. And then this one, um, he requested to the police and what county he's at his park. Um, <laughs> Twenty two fifty nine. Yes, ma'am. These are going to go on the collectives. So we have to put her name and then the collectors us. So I'm going to put my name mm -hmm. and then, of course, date and time. Did you put her name? I did. I'm going to put her name here because she's a subject. And me because I'm the collector. Sign up for my mm -hmm. um, with the police department. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me just check that. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah. Thank you. Well, we're county too. It's the most confusing thing on earth. We're the county police, and then there's the county sheriff. <laughs> Makes no sense. At least we're not Savannah. They have like seven different agencies in the same city. There's city, county, so, unified. So um, I need you to sign here and print your name here. And this is giving us consent to draw the blood. You give us consent to draw your blood. I do. Um, I was conscious for explaining that I do smoke marijuana. I do not have a medical license, but I could have a medical license in the state of Georgia. Okay, well, all I need is to know you going to let me have permission to draw your blood. And if you do, just sign it right here. I, understand. I, just, I, I, I don't want to get in trouble for something I'm admitting. Okay, well, that ain't up to me. Okay. So that's that card that I read to you. It's 
So that says that regardless of what I admitted to, I'm going to get trouble regardless. Well, no, no, so the, the, the card that I read to you, the implied consent card, the green one I was reading to you, has nothing to do with you telling me about marijuana or anything. Okay. It's simply the test that I do for for the, the situation. Because it's a DUI charge, and it's going to be considered kind of up in the air about what the substance but is. marijuana in my system regardless, so... Right, but, I mean, that's the thing, is when it comes down to the... Through the DUI investigation, there are certain things that I saw that are related to marijuana <laughs> impairment as well as alcohol impairment, and that's why I place you under arrest. So when it comes down to that, ultimately that's your decision, but that green card I read to you explains that decision. So, so they're just asking if they have your consent to draw the blood. The blood... No, and you're, you're more than welcome to ask questions. I understand it's a lot. Um... But their stuff has nothing to do with your admission necessarily. It's just, it's all a part of my big investigation and the card that I read to you explained about the blood draw. Okay, what else? Drawing your blood. What him? I understand. Okay, you see the your sign right there. I'm just so It does. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one moment. This one right here is HIPAA compliance. It states we will not give out your information without your consent. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Sign it for me. Okay. And the next one is going to be um, patient financial. It's stating that we can build your insurance and you'll be supposed to have Hold on a moment. Hold on, okay. It's a little slow. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Breathe. You gotta breathe. Your face turned red. Don't you wanna have a pain back? No. Yeah, I didn't. But they told me that. All right. It's your first time being in trouble. No words. I'm to you right good. Wait. Girl, I got everything on me. I took care of some lunch. Yeah, I'll be there. Y'all need anything? Let us know.
Thank you, Mark. Do you want copies of that, um, those no, paperwork? I shouldn't need them. Okay. Just the consent forms and stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll be all right with that. Okay. So, um, this goes down. I have to take it downstairs. And then okay. we're just going to wait for the yeah. discharge yeah. paperwork, and then we'll be good to go, okay? Is that okay if I want to do Yeah, go ahead. You're all good. Thank you all. Thank you. Do you need your papers? Yes. Okay. Very anything much else? so. That's it. So you don't need like the work note? Shouldn't, I don't think. Okay. As long as I got this, then it's usually good. Okay. So, I just wanted to follow up. All right. Whatever. Thank you. Hello. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Least expected. I said least expected. Um, yeah. You guys can run out that door if you want. Thank you much. Okay. Do you got to put you back in handcuffs? Just turn around for me, okay? I don't think I had anything on me. No, you're good. Just put your palms against each other. It makes it more comfy. Thank you. Yep. Take your mask off. You want it off? Okay. Yep. Five nine central. Seventy six. Sorry, seventy six to six hundred with one female. Central, are you clear for the mileage? One one three three seven. Sorry, add another three. One one three 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 seven. Five nine seven. If you could run a driver's history for me, please.
Hey, what you got? Hey, I got one female. Come in. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, uh, I'm just printing the last tickets. I ran out of paper.
come on out for me. Walk to that blue door right there. Come back with me for just a second. Hang on just a sec. Oh, uh, oh, airbag deployment? Nah. No. Nah. Front end collision, there's a little bit of damage, but should have been cleared by a doctor. Never, okay. uh, never report an injury, refused EMS. I just figured I'd take you there first. Well, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, and also, I had to do a blood draw. Um, didn't get an ABR printed. She's got, I'll print it out in just a second. Three citations is DUI, multiple substances, marijuana, and alcohol. Uh, following too closely in reckless driving. Okay. But, and her cell phone, phone number right there for her, and discharge paperwork. I'm going to print the AVR okay. if you don't mind. Hello? Already? I, I know, right? Time. It's my second time here today. So. I'm not even on a shift yet. Are you not? What are you doing here? Well, you know, I usually work from 8 to 8. Oh, yeah. I came in early. Why? Stop doing that. Well, I'm, I'm, this is my day off, so I feel you. <laughs> I, I got to go my day off. I'm here. Could you print one for me? Mm -mm. No. It's, she told me that it was fixed. Hey. Hey. What, that printer out there is supposed to be fixed? Mm -hmm. Okay. I you want me to try it? Some people are Hello. She's coming from the hospital, motor vehicle accident, no airbag deployment, no intrusion in the cabin, and she's been cleared by a doctor. Um... So funky. I wanted Purdy. I need something to excite me when I'm here. <laughs> it's understandable. I get you. Look, I don't get the big bucks like you, so I need something. <laughs> the only reason I get big bucks is because I never go home. <laughs> I'll feel you. Huh? Wouldn't that? Suck? I've got a real fat cat at home that would love to be They're a dependent. Expensive. I'm a good mommy. I take them to the vet and everything. They really are expensive, so yeah. we should get a tax break for them. Be nice. Thank you very much. I hope to not see you again tonight. 
Yeah, you too. Okay. Okay. She's good. Yes, All right, she's thank good. you. Here's ABR. What, did I have to check this one too, or is she good? No. Oh, I ain't. Yeah. Well, she went by the hospital, she's good and clear. She thinks. We're not signing this yet. 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 Uh, DUI. You ever had DUI Thank you for the share. Sure. My bad. Okay. Making sure they still spin. Huh? So making sure they still spin. The other day I got locked up on them. Quartz, the one that ran out of ink, and it's on the right. Okay. It's got the red on it. All right. This printer is working, huh? Awesome. 